we're going to start polishing out this uh, 54 Ford Hudson Hornet, uh, the coupe from Mobius, the one we did the custom paint on, as y'all saw in the last video. Um, first of all, I wanted to show you though, I'm using these pads that I make. Uh, I'm going to be using them to, to sand it out, to wet sand it good. Uh, I'll show you how I make these. I take um, just double sided tape, uh, it's the white 3M uh, foam double sided tape. And I take uh, sandpaper. Um, actually, this this is another little tip here that I do. I take and cut my sandpaper up before I need it, and I put it in this little container with compartments. Now you can use any container you want. You can cut your paper any size you want. This is the size I cut mine to. I'm not sure that one belongs in there, but uh, anyway. Um, and then I label it over here. What? what grid I have in there and this is 1500 that I'm going to be using um, I'll just take a couple pieces of it I'll take my tape and I'll pull a little piece out like that I'll take my sandpaper and stick it right to it just like that then I'll take scissors Cut it off. And then you got to do is flip it over, pull the paper off, and just stick it right to it. It's like so. And then this will help keep your papers flat. It'll help give you something to hold on to. It'll help soak in the water with that foam. Um, it works really nice. I use it quite a bit. Uh, that's it for now. I got to get my water ready. Um, and all that good stuff. Oh, excuse me. Um, you know, I don't let these soak in water though. Um, just because they, they will come apart if you let them soak in there. But if you're just dipping it in there and rubbing, dipping, and rubbing, dipping, and rubbing, uh, you'll wire up the sandpaper long before the sandpaper will come loose from here. Uh, just to let y'all know. Or water. Um, basically, our, our tub of water. This is just warm water. I did put a couple of drops of uh, dishwashing liquid in there just so it breaks breaks up the surface of the water. Slides a little easier. Uh, makes it stay on the car a little better. Um, those kind of things. Uh, it doesn't do anything else but that. Uh, basically, uh, I just want to dip my paper in and just try to stay as flat on the car as I can. Now, I do realize that cars have curves and stuff like that. And you're not going to be able to stay completely flat all the time. But as long as you can get it to hug that curve, it'll wire it down to where it's completely smooth and flat, basically, which is what we're trying to do. Um, to create that mirror, uh, that mirror shine that we want. Um, I don't, I don't want to get uh, up on the edges too close on the edges because it will burn through. Uh, especially with this 1500, it'll burn through really quick. Uh, all I'm trying to do is just get a good smooth surface um, because I'm going to put um, a couple more coats of clear on here. And I just want it to be really smooth. Now you can go like I'm going this way now. You can break it up a little bit um, and go the other way if you want, just to make sure you are getting it completely leveled out. Um, once it starts getting leveled out, um, as you can see, if you can see that, you can see it's kind of shiny down in the grooves around the edges where I haven't sanded so much, you know, um, and where it's Orange, orange peeled there you can tell now once you get, stop seeing any of that stuff um, that's when you know you can quit quit sanding in that area because you've got it smooth enough and if you keep going you're just going to burn through your clear and uh, that's not what we're trying to do here and it may take like I say I've, I'm going to be putting another couple of coats of clear on here and especially down on the side where I did the marbling real heavy, um, it may take a couple more coats of clear before it actually gets smooth and leveled out and looking nice. 
that's why I do it this way. Uh, like I say, I, I put, um, I've got four coats of clear in here now and I'll smooth it out. And then I'll come back with two coats of clear and then I'll come back and do the same thing with 2000 grit sandpaper. Just so I know I've got it good and level. Like I say, a lot of times it takes, takes more, um, I do it that way because it takes more clear to get it level, leveled out. So I wouldn't worry with it a whole lot in the beginning here. You can see it's looking, looking much better. I'm not getting as much shine on the orange peel and, and it's starting to level out on the letters here. Um, I think we're going to come down start working around here now. It just takes time. Um, you know, custom paint jobs are a lot of work. Especially to get them to look the way we want them to look. It's nice and shiny. You can see yourself in them. Uh, it just takes a lot of work. And I'm just going to keep working along at this. Uh, I'll come back and give you updates as we go. Alright, so we've gone through and we've got it wet sanded down now the first time. Um, got it all dried off and as you can see it's still a little bit rough in places which is okay because we're going to add a couple more coats of clear and then we're going to come back and let's send it down some more but we'll get it wiped down uh, get some clear sprayed on it and then we'll be back to wet setting it down again all right so we're in the process of sending this thing back down now so far we've cut it down we've added two more coats of clear and now I'm in the process of cutting it back down again. And then after this, um, we're going to add one more coat of clear. And then we're going to start rubbing it out. Start polishing it with our, um, uh, with our polishing compound and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm in the process now of, of cutting it back for the last time. And what I'm using is 2000 grit sandpaper. Um, and I'm not worried about making... Um, about making the pads right now because I've got it all cut back to where it's smooth as you can see here um, it's pretty well smooth now between the clear and stuff like that it does have a few rough spots but I can get it cut down with just a piece of paper now and that's what we've been working on as you can see I've got the roof done um, and it's looking nice and then we did do a little bit on the back and the deck lid back here uh, that may need a little bit more work um, and then we've worked a little on the side here and we're getting up into here now to where it is a little rougher uh, We're just taking our time and just just polishing it out like you would you know Just being real careful with it. I mean at this point um at this point, it's hard telling how much clear we actually have on this thing. Um, but still, yeah, you can still burn through really quick if you're not careful. Especially around the edges. So what I'll do is I'll hit it in a spot. And then I'll move away from it. And then once it dries out... Once the water dries off of it, you'll be able to look at it and see. Um, like the roof here, you can see if there's any high spots or low spots. The high spots will look like this, and the low spots will be, still be glossy. Um, if that makes sense to you. I mean, y'all should know um, kind of that part of it by now. be real careful around this edge where this hood shuts up here because it will burn through real quick there but I know um, I need to get down in there that that's been one of my troubled spots you can kind of get the idea of what I'm doing and where I'm going with this I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up um, I might record myself shooting the last coat of clear on this thing just so you know that's where we're at and that's what we're doing and um I'll give that a day or so to set up and then I'll start rubbing it out with my polishing compounds and it should get very deep and very wet looking and uh, I'm very excited for it. Till then guys.
so now we're at the part of this video where we're going to start working on rubbing this out with polishing compounds and a wax. Now I use more of this than I do the actual wax. This is wax. This is what I use for a compound. Now this plastic stuff, uh, my opinion, it works really well. Um, I've never used anything else but that as far as like the Novus and stuff like that goes. So I can't talk about those. This is what I use and I've had people that use Novus um, to give this a try and they like this stuff better. Now like I say I'm a big fan of this stuff. It's all I use and it's all I'll probably ever use as long as I can find it for sale. Uh, it works great in my opinion and that's what I use. And then the wax, the only reason I use this kind of wax is simply because I found it on sale when I went looking for it. I went looking for a wax. Uh, whenever I started this whole polishing stuff and this just happened to be on sale and it was cheaper than anything else so that's what I got now as far as I know um, when it comes to putting the wax on um, there's really no big difference between the two or no big difference between one or another but they all work the same in my opinion uh, one may say it works better but you know usually it really doesn't uh, they all have the same crap in them and all work the same my opinion now I could be wrong and I'm sure I am wrong and I'm sure somebody will let me know in the comments but hey that's okay that's your opinion this is my opinion and that's all that matters um, so then like I say that's what I use to polish and that's what I use the wax now I'll rub the crap out of it with this stuff I mean I'll keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing until it will not get any shinier or at least I think it won't get any shinier and then I'll come back with this and just put a coat on it just to protect it basically it's all the wax does give it that extra little bit of something to it and then just to protect it um, as far as what I use to polish now I just use an old t-shirt I've got one here just an old t-shirt and I'll wrap it around I'll show you all that crap later that's what I apply the polish and the wax with and I take it off with just a folded up piece of t-shirt I'll take a regular old piece of masking tape like you see here and I'll just put um, just put my polish and my wax right on that as you can see I'm about out of the plastic so I'm probably going to have to pick some more up soon and I don't know but I've heard they've got a new version of this out like a plastics 2.0 or something like that it's supposed to be a little bit better I haven't tried it but I probably will have to try it Now the polishing cloth, just lay it on my fingers like that. And just twist it around like that just so I get a good a good area here with my fingers. And I just dip my finger in it and just start rubbing it out. Um, now this stuff works off friction, so the more friction you give it, um, the better. Well, I think it works off friction. It works because it's got particles and the polishing compound. And, and if you don't know how caution compound works, you, need, you should look it up. Because don't listen to me. Um, like I say, I'll just keep rubbing this thing and rubbing it and rubbing it and rubbing it. Until I think it won't get any shinier. I'll go in circles, I'll go in straight lines, I'll go side to side. Now right now I've got a pretty good build up on there, if you can see that. Um, so I'll just keep rubbing that and it'll eventually either it rubs all into the paint or it all absorbs into my cloth or whatnot, but it'll eventually all just disappear. I like to do that. I like to get a good build up on there and then I'll just rub it out really good. But you got to remember, um, you can burn through with this stuff really easy. So you want to make sure that you've got plenty of clear or you're keeping a good eye on it. So in my opinion, this plastic stuff will burn through really quick on these paint jobs. All right. Well, there's where we're at. then what we'll do is 
Now when I take this off, I'll just unwrap it and I try to keep it where my fingers are. So when I come back, I use the same, same spot there. And I just take my cloth, you can see this, and I just buff it out really good. Got a little, starting to get that good shine on it like we like, but I'll keep rubbing at it and we'll get there. All right, guys, uh, that's it for now. I'm just going to keep rubbing. I'll come back to give you an update as we go, give you a look at it. Hopefully, it'll turn out real shiny and I'll be very happy with it. Okay, so we're back. Uh, we've been polishing on it. What I've done is I've made one trip um, all the way around the car now with um, the plastics right here. And, um, you know, we're just going to keep going. I'll probably have, I don't know, maybe five, six trips around the whole thing with this by the time it's done. Just making sure it's good and smooth and shiny. So when I do apply the wax, it gets um, gets what it's supposed to have on it. Um, it's not looking bad. Um, I don't know how well you can pick it up in the camera, but as far as we're good, we're gonna keep on going. We've gone through with our plastics now. Um, gave her a decent shine, as you can see there. Um, you know the hood we already had done. But I just threw it on there to kind of get a match of where we're at. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the plastic stuff now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through and I'm going to put a couple of coats of this wax on it. Um, now, so that's where we're at and that's what I'm going to work on. Um, so again, you know, I just use a piece of masking tape. And then I'm using my t-shirts just like before and just like before we're going to find some find a clean spot and just go like that now we're not going to uh, worry too much about rubbing a lot we're just going to put it on I wasn't going to rub it a lot, but as a, this thing is just soaking it up or something, it's disappearing on me. It's probably the shirt soaking a lot of it up right now. down on the sides of it rub them out good okay now after you've got it all rubbed out you gave it a few minutes um, you kind of see there give it a few minutes to kind of fog up a little bit look a little dull looking what you can do is, is you can take your other um, clean cloth and just start buffing it out get 
a good look at that. All right, from there, a little shot here. We're gonna go over it. We're gonna put one more coat of the wax on, and then we'll come back to give you a final look at it. Uh, once we get it all wiped up and stuff like that. So yeah, so we've got her finished up now. I think we're finished polishing. We still have a few things to work on, like. Uh, the door jams you can see um, the polish in there but all that'll be hid because we'll come back and we'll put our black wash in there and get rid of that and around here you can see the polish where the fender skirt is and all that um, but we'll get that I just wanted to give you a look at um, this, you know finished polishing because this is a how-to on polishing um, I got it set up in here try to give it the best available option to show how shiny it is that I can um, I think maybe this will do, will show it pretty well. A lot of times, um, on video, uh, especially videos, cameras taking pictures, stuff like that, it's hard to capture the amount of shine that you have on it. Um, and maybe this will help show it off and capture it a little more. Um, hopefully this has helped some of you guys out. Um, so yeah. Um, I think it turned out great. So yeah, that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys later. Alright guys, if you like this video and you want to see more, you can click around here on the screen and what you'll find is a, another video that YouTube thinks you should watch. Or you can subscribe to my channel. Or you can even go over and check out the channel of my a local model club here. I post videos of shows we do, um, shows we go to, uh, models on the table at the meetings, and all that good stuff. So go there and have a look.